All right, let's animate an emoji. First, you need to go to piscoapp.com. You do not have to sign in. If you're just going to create an emoji, you can just click on create a sprite. You always have the option to sign in if you would like to. Most emojis are based on a circle, so we're going to grab the circle tool from our toolbox. Click to drag out a circle. Most emojis are yellow, so we're going to pick a yellow color. The way we do that is we click on the circle, we move it, and we move this bar. This color changes to show you what color you've picked. Then you need to click on your fill tool and fill your bucket. Then you have to decide what type of face your emoji is going to make. I'm going to do a smiley face emoji. Go back here and pick my red, grab my pen, and I'm going to make two circle eyes. I want my eyes to be approximately the same size. The insides of my eyes should be white. Grab my paint bucket tool and fill with white. I can go back and grab my black and add details. I'm also going to add a smile. You can see my frame right here. Sometimes it looks like this. If it's too small, just hover and click on full. Now I have one frame. I want to animate though, that means I need more than one frame. I'm going to hover over frame one and click right here where it says duplicate this frame. Now I've duplicated a frame. I can change this frame to look however I want. I'm going to change my emoji to winking and sticking a tongue out. I'm going to grab my pen and get my yellow. I can do the eraser tool or this. And I'm going to go ahead and erase the black. Do you see how I can see a ghost image underneath it? That's because I have the onion peel. That's just letting me know what the ghost image of the image, or excuse me, the frame ahead looks like. So this is what frame one looks like, just giving me a hint. I don't need to see that because I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to give this a wink. See, he's winking. And now I'm going to also draw a tongue. and change this color to red and get my paint bucket tool. I can speed up my animation. I can slow it down. That feels pretty good to me. When I'm ready to save this to my computer or my device, I need to export it. So what I do is I click right here on the mountain where it says export. I want to make sure this number is close to 900. It doesn't have to be exactly 900, but if it's 200 or 30, that's kind of small. So 900 is a good place. It's very tempting to click on download, but we are not going to do that. We're going to click on upload and wait. Do you see the yellow link? I'm going to click on that yellow link and it gives me a preview of what my emoji is going to look like if I share it on the web or on social media. I can right click save image as and choose a place on my computer to save it. Click save. That's all there is to it. Now you have created and saved an animated emoji.